welcome to bsc statistics program now in this class i explain uh, one problem in graphical method for m by 2 games so which means uh, uh, m by 2 games means player a uh, uh, having uh, more than two strategies and player b having only two strategies you see here this is the problem i can I have considered Uh, player B is having two strategies, B1, B2, and player A having uh, three strategies, A1, A2, A3. This is the pair of matrix. Now you have to solve this particular problem by using graphical method. In the graphical method, what you have to do, and the very at for a first step, uh, you have to calculate this particular. You have to prepare this particular table. You see, hope you have understand this particular table. Uh, we have to consider a pure strategy, which means uh, a one, a two, and a three. There are three particular strategies. So, and uh, b is expected last uh, the payoff and linear function in q one. You have to calculate. The b is expected last. So let you consider e one q, which is equivalent to b. So, if you write the probabilities here, q one, q two. two particular probabilities and if you multiply 2 q1 2 with uh, q1 and uh, and add 7 multiplied by q2 you will get the expected uh, payoff or loss for player b so 2 q1 plus 7 q2 i have explained the, all these things in the uh, uh, mixed strategies games without shadow point by using mixed strategies right in that particular class i have explained very clearly right so now you have to convert in terms of uh, q1 2q1 plus 7 into 1 minus q1 so it is equivalent to be 2 minus 7 that is minus 5 minus 5q1 plus 7 into 1 7 so this is the linear function in q1 so now you substitute uh, q1 is equal to 0 you will get 7 q1 is equal to 1 you will get 7 minus 5 2 So these are the points uh, uh, what, which we have to consider in axis one and axis two. Q one is equal to zero. Q one is equal to one. Now uh, let us consider uh, next one. That is uh, the strategy of A two uh, of player A, and I, B. Then B is expected last. It is three uh, into. If we consider E two Q is equal to. 3 Q1 plus 5 Q2 is equal to be. Then you convert in terms of Q1 that is linear function. Uh, the 5 multiplied by 1 minus Q1 is equal to 3 Q minus 5 Q that is minus 2 Q1 plus 5. So this is what uh, linear function uh, or function in Q1. Uh, then substitute Q1 equal zero and you will get 5. Substitute Q one is equal to one two minus five minus two it is three, right? And uh, similarly, you consider the next strategy A three that is eleven Q one. Then expected uh, uh, loss for player B E three Q that you consider, and this is eleven Q one plus two into Q two. Two Q two is equal to eleven Q one plus two into one minus Q one. You convert in terms of Q one. Eleven minus two, it is nine. Nine, nine Q one, uh, and plus two into one two. Substitute Q one is equal to zero. Q one is equal to zero, which means it is two. Q one is equal to one. Nine plus two, eleven. Already, I, exp I have explained uh, that uh, these are the two particular strategies. Uh, that is values of the respective strategy A one. Uh, that is in the which we have to consider in axis one and two, which will be available here only two seven two two seven. Similarly, three five five three two eleven eleven two like that, right? Now you consider the graph. So the I am considering now the graph. So I have considered that unit length that is uh, the two particular parallel axes uh, axis one and axis two. With unit length means q1 equal zero, q1 is equal to one, so zero to one, one unit, unit length. And I have considered this is what the uh, axis one and axis two. 
and uh, I, have, I have considered the values here 0 par that is in the same particular for example one particular line I have considered both the values here in the axis 1 and axis 2 0 then 1 then 2 2 here and 2 here 3 like that I have considered the values now I have to draw the respective uh, lines that is for for first one the strategy a1 the values of x axis 1 and axis 2 are 7 and 2 now let us consider 7 and 2 7 here on axis 1 this is 7 on axis 2 this is 2 now you have to join these two particular um, values that is points and you will get a straight line so form a straight line by joining these two values so this is what uh, which represents a1 i am considering this is i am representing a1 okay and uh, i am considering next point is uh, 5 and 3 for next strategy a2 5 and 3 so first of all mark the point 5 this is some axis 1 and axis 2 it is 3 uh, now you join these two particular points 5 and 3 you will get a straight line form a straight line by using by joining these two particular points so i'm considering now it is a2 i'm representing second strategy a2 and then you have to consider 2 and 11 on axis 1 it is 2 for a3 on axis 1 and axis 2 it is 11 clear so these two points you have to join and you have to form a straight line this is 2 this is 11 right and if this is 2 and this is 11 clear right now i'm joining these two particular points right this is uh, another particular strategy let you consider a3 this is what a3 I am drawing, I am writing here as well, A3. So therefore, uh, I have drawn three, three lines, three part, corresponding to three strategies, three straight lines. Uh, this is for strategy A1, A2, A3, 7, 2, 5, 3, 2, 11. I have drawn three lines. And what you have to do after this, uh, you you will get two particular envelopes here is a lower envelope this is the part and upper envelope this is the part uh. and now you have to consider on the upper envelope i shade the upper envelope first in the upper envelope you have to consider lowest point which will give you the mini max value clear so in the this is called a uh, upper envelope in this upper envelope you have to consider you have to consider lowest point this is upper envelope the lowest point so i am writing here upper envelope this is upper envelope this is upper envelope right and this uh, the lowest point is this this is the lowest point on the upper envelope uh, let us consider this is l lowest point i am considering l so this is what which gives you mini max value mini max mini max value clear is it is it clear to understand you this is what upper envelope and in which the lowest point I am considering, which is uh, minimax value, I am considering L. I have considered L. Now, this minimax value that is lower, uh, lowest point, uh, which intersects at two particular uh, uh, light lines uh, and uh, corresponding to strategies. This is one, this is called, this is the strategy A3, this is another one, A1. Therefore, A1, A3 remains. Uh, that uh, this particular point L uh, intersecting two particular uh, straight lines. One is A1, 
with corresponding to strategy A1, another one is corresponding strategy A3, that is A1 and A3, which reminds from this particular graph. Hope you understand. This is what the graphical method. The, from the graph, we can easily uh, obtain, we can easily obtain that uh, from the graph. And uh, we can easily obtain that uh, A1 and A3 are two particular strategies which reminds from the graph and the lowest point and the minimax value, etc. Or all from all the uh, procedure. And now we have it reminds us that reduced payoff matrix is A1, A3, and B1, B2 as usual. Uh, what are the uh, values of the payoff matrix in A1 and A3 that you have to go and uh, see from original matrix? This is A1, this is A3, 2, 7, 11, 2, right? Which reminds us. 2, 7, first one, and 11, 2, A3. So, these are the two strategies which reminds. If you consider, uh, a, this is the payoff matrix A11, A12, A21, A22. Like that, if you consider, then we can calculate uh, three, uh, uh, three particular points here. You have to calculate. First one, optimal strategies of player A. Optimal strategies of player A. So, uh, the game is, is now reduced into uh, 2 by 2 rectangular game. Now you have to calculate optimal strategies of player A, optimal strategies of strategies of player B. Optimal strategies of player B. And the next one, the third point, the value of the game. Value of the game. These are the three points you have, these are three points you have to calculate. First one, optimal strategies of player A, for which you have to calculate uh, P1. P1 is equal to A22 minus A21 divided by the formula A11 plus A22 minus of A12 plus A21. Now, now you see the values here. Uh, a22 is this 2 minus A21, it is 11 divided by A11 plus A22, 2 plus 2 minus of uh, A12 plus A21, 7 plus 11. Uh, hence, this is the value 18, 4 minus 18 minus 14, and this is minus uh, 9, therefore, it is 9 by 14. Hence, uh, if you calculate similarly, the value P2, P2 is equal to 1 minus 9 by 14. It is uh, 14 minus 9, it is 5, 5 by 14. Therefore, optimal strategies for player A, which are SCI is equal to A1, A2, A3, the probabilities of A1 and A3, you see here A1 and A3, the probabilities of A1 and A3 are, uh, first one 9 by 14 and uh, A3 is uh, 5 by 14 and then this is 0. These are optimal strategies of player A. Now you calculate optimal strategies of player B. Q1 is equal to, I already explained that A22 minus A21 is P1, A22 minus A12, it is Q1. So, which the value you can uh, consider, you can calculate uh, divided by a11 plus A22 minus of A12 plus A21, right? So, this is the value A22 is 2 minus A12, it is 7, divided by denominator of same, 2 plus 2 minus of 7 plus 11, right? This is value uh, minus 5, minus 5 by um, minus 14. So, therefore, it is 5 by 14. And Q2 is equivalent to be 1 minus Q1. 1 minus Q1 means 1 minus 5 by 14. It is 9 by 14. Now, therefore, optimal strategies for player B, which is SB is equal to B1, B2 and Q1. Q1 is uh, 5 by 14. Q2 is 9 by 14. So, player B always uh, maximum, maximum times 
a yeah, player b prefers the strategy b2 because the probability is more out of 14 nine times the probability chance will be more to use this particular strategy b2 and player a coming to player a player a uh, uses uh, the first strategy strategy a1 that is uh, more strategy 9 by 14 so therefore uh, these are this is the way to consider how um, the player a and player b uses a particular strategy what are what are chances so we have calculated uh, mixed strategies uh, uh, so which are called optimal strategies of player a and player b now the value of the game mu the formula a11 a22 minus of a12 a21 divided by a11 plus a22 minus a1 minus of a12 plus a21 so uh, the values are a11 into a22 it is 2 into 2 minus uh, a12 into a21 a12 it is 7 into 11 and divided by uh, 2 plus 2 minus of 7 plus 11 this is the value 73 by 14 you calculate the value this is 73 by 14 already i explained that uh, uh, if you calculate the maximum and min max value it must lies in between the maximum and min max value calculate row minima it is 2 row minima is th 3 and 2 the maximum is 3 it is uh, uh, maximum value column maxima is 11 column maxima is 7 minimum minimax is uh, 7 it is minimax so it must lie in between 3 and 7 so 73 by 14 the value of the game we have obtained so i uh, it is approximately 5 point something the value 14 fives are 70 so therefore it is nearly 5 point some value 5 point 2 14 twos are uh, 28 so nearly 5 point 2 so therefore it lies in between 3 and 7 right our uh, value of the game uh, most probably uh, it is accurate it's correct one only this is the way of solving the m by 2 games by using graphical method hope you understand thank you thank you very much